These are common variants of insulins. Sometimes when people take insulin, they'll take a basal dose that lasts throughout the entire day and then take other doses that are short acting and help with each individual meal. So we'll talk about both of those types of insulin. First, there's short acting insulin, like regular insulin, which lasts about eight hours and peaks at 1.5 to 3.5 hours. This has slow onset and offset, and the peak does not typically coincide with the peak of somebody's meal, with their food peak. There are also insulin analogs, which are even shorter acting. This includes Lispro, Aspart, and Glulacine. These last four to six hours, and they peak around one to three hours. These also have very fast on and offset, and the peak better coincides with their food. Intermediate acting insulin, there's only one. It's NPH. It lasts about 12 hours, and it peaks around four to six hours. The peak effect is more likely to cause hypoglycemia. For instance, you can imagine if you take an NPH right before going to bed, because you're taking it twice daily, because it lasts 12 hours, that peak is going to be around four to six hours in the middle of the night, and you might get hypoglycemic. Lastly, the long acting insulins, there's Dedimir, which lasts six to 40, to, sorry, six to 24 hours, and it peaks around three to nine hours. This sometimes requires twice daily, but you can take a higher dose for a longer duration of action. There's also Glargine. This is for U100. It lasts 20 to 24 hours. It has no peak, and the peakless effect is less likely to cause hypoglycemia. You can take an even higher concentration of this one that has a duration of action of 30 hours or more. Lastly, Degludec, another long-lasting over 24 hour with no peak, and again, less likely to cause hypoglycemia.